You, you can start. You start lifting those over there. You guys start getting the wheelbarrows out. Well, St. Pete Youth Farm is a youth-led initiative here in South St. Petersburg in an area known as the South St. Pete CRA, where we have high school-aged teens leading an effort for agriculture and youth development. In 2017, we had um, something happen in our community that was somewhat unique. We had two grocery stores in the period of four years closed. When that happened, a lot of different people came together, started meeting, talking about how do we address this critical need within the community for access to fresh fruits and vegetables. Somebody in their wisdom decided, let's have our young people um, work on that effort. Um, initially, when this program was started, naturally it's named a youth farm. Every, even the young people applying figured what they'd be doing was learning about growing food, learning about nutrition. Over time, what we've discovered for most of our young people is the communication skills, is the leadership skills, is the character development, is learning about uh, the, their own history. It's actually the food that they're able to try now. Yesterday, I'm watching a young person eat Swiss char picked right from the, the farm here, and I don't think that's something we would have seen two years ago at all. Not only are we a part of a community and a green space, the way we describe it is come here for the community, the culture, everything else, and discover that we're growing food also. As we know, health disparities are more pressing in our community, meaning communities of color. So you can continue to try to treat um, the symptoms or we can go straight for the root cause. We know the root cause already. We've known it for generations. It's the food, it's the quality of food, but it's not just the food and the quality of food, it's having access to the right foods. And so putting something like this in the middle of the community that can allow folks to have access to it at prices that they can afford is a game changer. And to have that led by young people, so the DNA of what we're doing here is all based on um, the youth. My hope that when our young people are entrusted to me, to us here at this program, number one, they feel it's a safe place, but that they're, they grow in not just knowledge and wisdom, but in their communication skills and the way they're interacting and a sense of responsibility to our community. And if you would like to know more about uh, the St. Feet Youth Farm, what it has to offer, you can find them online at stpeteyouthfarm.org.